Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing Advanced Clinical's Coconut Oil Moisturizing Cream. Um, I gave this moisturizer two out of five stars after trying it, so I didn't care for it that much. It's not the absolute worst out there, but there wasn't much that I like about it. Um, the price of this one, this one's very inexpensive. It's $15 for this huge jug of it. Um, this is 16 ounces, and this is a moisturizer for your face and body. To start off with, I don't really like moisturizers that you can use on your face and body because they require different ingredients. The skin on your face is more sensitive um, and I don't really like putting oils and stuff, mineral oil and stuff, but for the body it's not as sensitive and you could put a lot more stuff on it without adverse side effects rather than on your face. Um, so this one you're supposed to use both day and night, I think even though it doesn't really say when to use it, but I tried it both day and night. Um, and this is a white lotion. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, that's how it comes out. It's actually thinner than a lot of moisturizers out there. It's not as thick as I'd like um, for like a nighttime cream or something. So I think this is more of a daytime lotion. Um, and especially for a body lotion, I'm not sure that this one's quite moisturizing enough. And applying this one's really easy. As you can see, it comes in a pump jar or jug. For your face, I only needed like a quarter of a pump. Um, and for your, my body, I needed like three or four pumps. So this will go a long, long way. Um, it's really easy to apply. I applied it in the morning, um, but like I said, it doesn't really say when to use, it just says use daily. As far as the drying time go, this one dries pretty quickly. Um, but after it dries, I ha kinda had a residue on. It felt a little bit waxy, a little bit sticky. Um, especially on my face, it really bugged me. I didn't like it, it was annoying. Um, after, so after, it, oh and the smell of it. The smell of this is really good. It has a light coconut smell. Um, the smell dissipates pretty quickly. It doesn't really stick around. Um, but I really like the smell. It's a very light tropical scent and I love anything that smells like coconut. So it smells really good. Um, so as far as my short term results, after I applied it, like I mentioned, I could kind of feel a waxiness on my skin. My skin felt soft for a, few, for a few minutes after applying it, but then that sadly went away. Um, I just didn't really notice any change at all as far as short-term results. Um, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see any short-term results, and the longer-term results weren't any better. I didn't see any lasting results as far as moisturizing my skin. It didn't help my fine lines or wrinkles, unfortunately, and it even got a few small pimples from using that. Um, a lot of people love using coconut oil on their face. For me, it's kind of hit or miss. My dermatologist says not to use it on your face. Sometimes I can use products with it and be fine, but this one made me break out a little bit. So that was disappointing. I just didn't really love the results. I prefer this one as a body cream instead of a facial moisturizer. Um, there was even times I applied it to my face and it kind of stung a little bit. So I don't know what in here was causing it to sting me, but that's always a little unnerving when that happens I, and it was a little red but it it went away after a few minutes now um it has some good ingredients but it also has mineral oil in it um i don't like mineral oil because i find that it clogs my pores it kind of traps moisture into your skin and in doing so it can trap dirt sebum um, all different types of things that clog your pores this also has coconut oil and um, matricaria flower extract um, so, so those are some good ingredients for your skin. Coconut oil is especially good for your body. Like I mentioned, I don't completely trust it on my face. Sometimes it makes me break out. Um, and I couldn't find any money back guarantee on their website. So that really disappointed me as well. So I gave this two out of five stars. For the price, um, it might be okay to work as a body moisturizer, but I still like other body creams better. And I definitely don't like this one for my face. So I want to know if you guys have tried this one, comment below. Or if you have another moisturizer you'd like me to test out, you can comment that. And for more information on this moisturizer and many others, please visit us online at moisturizers.com and on social media.